Well, hello everybody. Let me put some more light on. Sorry, I always forget to do that. Uh, let's see if this one stays on. Whatever. There we go. Uh, this video is about the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. I'm mainly going to talk about just the flesh and what we think we need and this and that. I know I kind of hit on it a little bit in previous videos, but this one I'm going to get deep down inside of it and mainly talk about the difference between the flesh in the spirit. Alright. And now since I have a notepad, I can actually write down notes and remember stuff I think about during the day. So, let's start off with the flesh definitely overpowers the spirit. Alright. In the garden, Jesus Christ asked his disciples, if you want to know which ones, you can read your Bible and find out, to watch over him as he prays. Of course they fell asleep. And when he comes back, he says, The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The flesh is so weak that it overpowers the spirit many times. That's why we make mistakes. And that's why we do so many things that are wrong. And we even go back to those same mistakes and say, Why did I do that? I could have done it this way instead. Or I could have done this you know, so differently. It's because your flesh overpowered your spirit. That's why you gotta learn to listen to your spirit more than your flesh. Which, I feel at this plenty of times throughout the day, daily. That's why we fall short of the glory of God also, because we sin every day. Why do we sin? Because of the flesh. And also because of Lucifer, but not because of Lucifer, which will be another video later. But the flesh is so overpowering to the spirit. That's why also our stupid brain, yeah, it's, oh, it's intelligent. Uh, this is where our thoughts come from, this and that. No, there's the mind and then the brain. The mind is technically your spirit, okay? So, why do you think there's emotions? that our brain cannot comprehend or understand. That's why, like, does it still make sense to anybody why you cry when you're happy? Hmm. Or, you know, all these other emotions that the brain cannot understand and your body just does weird things? Now, the spirit can overpower the body, the flesh. Because if you fill yourself with negativity, if you think bad thoughts throughout the day, it will affect your physical body. That's the spirit. You dirtying your spirit, you're, you're, you're harming your spirit by thinking bad thoughts and this and that and blah, blah, blah. So therefore, your spirit starts affecting the body. But the body still overpowers the spirit. The flesh is weak. All right. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And the flesh does overpower the body. Because how do you explain somebody, you know, who gets hit in the head and they're in a coma? Is their spirit still in their body just laying in the bed with the body? Most likely. Hopefully, you know, God is merciful. So sometimes when he knows that they're not going to come out of this coma, he already removes the spirit. And then it's just definitely just a freaking body. We don't know. I don't know. Like I said, also in the other video you can't explain God or understand God you can understand what he wants from you that's why you read the Bible basic instruction before leaving earth basic instructions you want the full instructions you got to ask the Holy Spirit which I do believe the Holy Spirit works through me I could be wrong I could be right I don't know until the day I die and I face God We'll see. But the flesh hurts your soul. Think about it. What you decide to do, not with your brain, but with your mind, what you as a person decides to do because your flesh wants it, it makes your soul filthy. Dirty. Hmm? 
Yeah. It can turn somebody dark. It can turn somebody and put them in a bad place. Luckily, God's arms are long enough to pull anybody out of anything. But your flesh can corrupt the soul. That's why you got to be careful. You got to be mindful. Notice I said mindful. Because there's your, there's your mind, your thoughts in your head, which is your soul. And then there's your brain that controls everything and freaking says this and that. You know, of course, your brain is part of your flesh. So, oh, I want this. I want this. You know, I want whatever. Truth is, we don't really know what we want. Truth is, I know what God wants. And all he wants is worship. That's all we're supposed to give God. Worship, praise, and just put everything in his hands. And not worry about a thing. That's another thing the flesh messes with everybody. Everybody. I don't care who you are. Even me. You worry about so many things and that's the flesh worry about bills worry about having a job worrying about eating worry about this and that the simple things that's the flesh because the soul does not need any of those things this body will die and decompose and be buried and whatever but the soul lives on right so tell me if your soul actually worries about these little things because the soul knows it's going to live on for Ever, for all eternity. So yeah, I, don't know. I hope I get more subscribers. I hope I, I hope I get more people watching this stuff, so I can get some comments, and I can do videos based off the comments and reply to the comments. But whatever. If you do watch this video, or even go back to some of my previous videos, my three subscribers as of now, and please say something. And that's another reason why we fall short of the glory of God. Because we don't listen to our spirit, our soul. We listen to our flesh every single day. That's why we fall short of the glory of God. Because we prefer the flesh, the flesh and needs, what we think we need. And we don't feed the soul enough. Go out there and look at the beauty of the world. You know, go out there and help somebody. I mean, that's the main thing. What God wanted us to do was help each other. One of the main things. The main thing is worship and praise. And know that He is almighty. Well, that's basically it for this video, I think. Talked about my mistakes and everybody's mistakes. Because of the flesh. Well, that's about it. Well, you all have great existence. God bless you all, and God be with you, and I'll see you next video.